I'm Jim, and I live in Montgomery Village, Maryland. I hope that like-minded Republicans will support Joe Biden in the 2020 election. For now, we have to put aside the notion of parties and think about the individuals who are running. I've been a Republican voter since 1960, and though Biden falls short of being my ideal candidate, I sincerely believe he's a man with the experience and character needed to restore leadership and decency back to the office of the presidency. I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016. However, when Trump won the election, I had hoped for America that he would at least rise to mediocrity and demonstrate a little character, sound thinking, and leadership, but he has failed on all accounts. Instead, since the inauguration, he has applauded dictators while berating our longtime friends and allies. He's attempted to coerce a foreign country's leadership into discrediting the son of his chief political opponent. He has divided the country at every opportunity. He separated and imprisoned children from their parents when they attempted to seek asylum in America. He has frequently appointed people to key leadership positions in the government only to quickly force them out, replacing them with those who will show loyalty to him, not the United States of America. The list goes on and on. The most damaging thing Donald Trump has done as president of the United States is to abdicate his responsibility to develop and implement a national strategy to control the COVID-19 pandemic. And he lies about the extent of this catastrophic disease at every opportunity. His attempts to thwart the upcoming elections by wounding the post office is just plain dangerous to our democratic form of government. God only knows what he could do with our country with another four years. If our democracy is to be preserved, Trump simply must go. Without a doubt, this is the most important election we will likely see in our lifetime. Get out and vote. Even if it's for the dog catcher, he's got to be better than Donald Trump. Thank you.